ever wondered how people can study for so long every single day? Like, doesn't their motivation run out? But what if I told you motivation isn't the answer? Well, I'm here to help you be like that type of person who doesn't even need motivation to study. Hi, I'm Pei. I post study vlogs on YouTube and this is my first tips video in a really long time. But if you enjoyed today's video, do subscribe. And with that, let's get on with the video on how to start studying even without motivation. So first, let's talk a little bit about what on earth is motivation and consistency. So motivation is derived from the word motive, which denotes a person's needs, desires, wants or urges. It is the process of motivating individuals to take action in order to achieve a goal. So that means you need to find something that you want. Easy, right? Grade, a prize, a reward. But there's something that stops us. Resistance. So what is resistance? So resistance is the refusal to accept or comply with something. Basically, your mind is telling you to scroll TikTok, watch YouTube, game instead of working or studying. Okay, we got the root cause of the problem, so how do we minimize it such that we can work every day? Well, the easiest way to do this is to make studying, working, etc. etc. a habit. Easier said than done, of course. But with a sprinkle of motivation and some hardcore discipline, working every day can become a habit and then you can reach consistency. So here's the part everyone has been waiting for. Why doesn't motivation work and how do we even start? So we've all been talking about motivation, right? How do we find the desire, the push to start working on your to-do list? But motivation is not reliable. It comes and goes, it only lasts for a short while. Relying on motivation to work is ultimately not going to help you reach your goals. So what do we do? Let's talk about how we can actually start. So there's a few ways we can go about this and I'll be sharing three tips. Make sure to listen to tip three because that's my favorite tip here. So let's begin. First, we use time pressure or we set an end time. So let's use an analogy. So let's say you're working on an assignment that is due tomorrow morning. Of course, you will maximize your productivity and rush it out because it's due literally tomorrow. But if you compare that to an assignment that is due next week, you wouldn't start on it right now because there is no tight deadline and there's still a lot of time to finish the piece of work before the deadline. So using the same concept, after setting a to-do list, we can do something called setting an end time. So every day is a time that you want to stop work at and it would be better if it's the same time every single day so you can get used to it. But many people always set a start time but actually having an end time is more important. Imagine if you only had a start time. That would mean that if you plan to start studying at 8am and you start off by doing a chemistry assignment which you only plan to take one hour on but instead it took two hours. So that will carry on to your further assignments or pieces of work you to do and that will make you end late in the night even though you started studying quite early in the day. And therefore, you always know, regardless of when you start, everything is due, for example, at 10pm today. So you have no choice but to finish it by then. Secondly, you can get a study buddy or a study group to remain accountable. You can hit up one of your friends to Google Meet or Discord, Zoom while you guys study and it's even better if you pre-plan your focus sessions with your friends a couple days before. So let's say you scheduled study calls with a friend at 2pm on Monday today. So this means that you have something planned on Monday already and since you're meeting with someone, you don't want to be late, right? So you'll show up and actually work. Some people may choose to study call or focus call every day at a certain time which is good because it becomes a habit so maybe at 2pm every day you'll be inclined to do work as a brief is already conditioned that 2pm is work time. In my vlogs, you've also seen me opening your Punta, which is a Korean study app to time myself studying. So you can form groups and study together with your friends and also compete with them to assert dominance. So if you get to 1000 subscribers, I'll be opening a YPT group where you guys can join and we can all study together. Um, note that this is also not a sponsored video though it will be amazing to get sponsored by them because I've been using it since like September um, last year. So since you're also studying with your friends, what you guys can also do is to share your to-do list with each other and keep yourself accountable as well as your friend accountable. So 
if let's say you have a lot of things to do each time you finish one task you can cross it off and then send the updated to do list to your friends so your friends will be like pushed to work as well and if your friend does that you will also be pushed to work as well let's say your friend realizes that you haven't been studying for like four hours or something he or she can remind you to start working on your list and finish it by your end time so like that you can work together and complete it together as a group now we are on my favorite tip and that is a tip that i really want all of you guys to hear thirdly plan out your day or think of a day numerically i'm not sure but i have really never heard of this tip anywhere else so listen up so in an earlier point i mentioned having a lot of time left before whatever deadline to finish whatever assignment so once you plan out your day and you start using your numbers to think of how much time you have left to finish your work you will actually notice that we are pretty tight on time so if you plan out your day a random day you have a timeline a schedule not all days will be so according to plan of course because there are distractions you will take breaks you get tired so essentially what i'm trying to put here is that before you continue procrastinating usually you think hey wait i need to do my work but then you look at the time you know what there's still a lot of time left i'm just going to continue scrolling tiktok but before you continue procrastinating Think about how much time you have left to finish every single thing on your to-do list. So that's it for today's video. If you like my videos, do give me a like, share and subscribe. And comment down Archie in the comment section of this video. I post vlogs every Sunday at 6pm SGT. And since it's the holidays, I'll be posting special videos like this at 6pm SGT every Thursday. So turn your notifications on so that you can get notified whenever I post. Keep a lookout for next week's special video on how you can stay focused for longer. And to all of my viewers who have just taken their PSLE results yesterday, regardless of what your score is, I hope you aren't too sad about it. But I'm so proud of you guys for making it this far. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye!